Good morning. Who else wakes up like this in the morning? Good morning, guys. I lost my voice last night, so please excuse me and bear with me. I am up doing my um the daily thing that I do. Um, what are you guys up to? Sometimes I wish I could hear you guys speak back. Not that I can't read, but you know, when you're like um moving around and doing stuff, sometimes it's like I don't want to seem like I'm ignoring you, okay? So the reason I hooked up with you guys this morning is because a lot of you asked me about my skin and how did I get it, you know, to where it's now glowing and it's even and it's smooth and has good texture and good moisture because it was not always like that. Um, I didn't have terrible skin, but I didn't have noticeable good skin. So... I'm going to show you guys what I do in the mornings. By the way, good morning. Good morning. How are you guys? I hope everybody's having a good day. Hey. Hi, honey. You said it's blurry? Okay, let me fix that. I don't know if it's because there is a subconnection. Okay. Is it still blurry, guys? Somebody respond and tell me. Is it clear? Or no? Good morning. So, I need somebody to tell me. Can y'all see me? Can y'all hear me? Hey, Mr. Keys. Oh, good. Okay, good. So you guys are saying yes. So, sup, Atlanta. <laughs> if you can see this, it says serving facial. Can you guys see that? And excuse my nose. I told you guys yesterday that I broke not one, not two, but now three. Well, two, technically. But anyhow, first of all, good morning to anybody who is checking in with us. Happy Thursday, a beautiful throwback Thursday. I don't know where you guys are checking in from, but I'm right here in Michigan. Um, Novi, which is about maybe 50, 45 minutes outside of Detroit, my hometown. Hey! And uh, if you hear people in the background, my family is here. They're helping me pack. As you guys know, I am moving out of the state of Michigan. This will be the first time since college when I went to ASU, uh, when I moved to Alabama. For Alabama State University. Other than that, I travel all over, but I've never actually moved and lived somewhere else. So I'm moving really soon. So um, my condo is up for sale, and we have. Oh, I'm sorry, somebody's texting me. Sorry for the interruption. But we have family and friends that are over to help me assess some things that I want to take with me or leave which is smart and moving. Don't take everything. You won't use everything. It'll just be a waste of space or time or whatever. Anyway, past that. Back to this crazy stuff on my face because I know whoever is just checking in, you guys are wondering, like, what is this on your face, girlfriend? That's not a pimple. I told you guys before, that right there is a mole that I've had my whole life. Um, anyhow, uh, lately you guys have been commenting under my videos and pictures about my skin. Thank you. I always appreciate when you guys notice stuff like that. Um, because I make it my business every morning to, um, aside from drinking coffee. Shout out to all the coffee drinkers. <laughs> to um, take my Body Complete RX. Shout out to all of the ladies who have been slimming down, getting slim and trim. Uh, with the Body Complete RX. And then also my... Um, my facial regimen is like a big deal to me. So I just wanted to show you guys, you guys are so funny, um, what I do. 
And here's a company. It's a young lady out of Philly. Jasmine's going to come down and feel she'll give you more um, insight on the young lady because she met her while she was at Spelman. But serving facial. Jasmine has the best skin ever. Her and Lexington. Um, but it ain't hereditary because I've never really had their skin. But they have really good, rich, smooth, butter-like I mean, all of like skin. And so she's like, mommy, when I moved to Spelman, you know, it's a different climate, different water, you know, her skin started to react differently. So she had to get a product. And this is what it is. It's called Serving Facial. And as you see, mine is for oily because um, with makeup and hair, um, I get a lot of dirt and oil just on a daily basis, just natural certain oil or whatever so my skin gets really oily which causes um breakouts possibly and uh discoloration the tone is off you know stuff like that girls probably understand a little bit more than guys not that guys don't take care of themselves um and so when i started using this and of course drinking more water um changing my diet and my lifestyle then my skin started to change. So a lot of people are like, are you bleaching your skin? No, I've always been fair skin. I just probably never really took the best care of it. So you guys probably just always saw it covered in makeup. So you didn't know, but my skin looks great, right? Oh, it looks weird right now, but you know, doing this as a daily mask in the morning and um, also at night, ladies, take your makeup off at night. Not only does it, um, help your face from not being dirty or your pillowcases and stuff it also stops that uh rapid aging process so it um it helps you your skin stay young if you actually clean all that makeup and stuff off at night i understand some of us get in late and um you're just tired but you know at least if you don't remove your lashes if you got lash extensions i understand that you can't take those off every night i get it i have the same problem but the coverage, those brows that we beat, girl, wipe them off. You can redraw them the next day. You know, you've got a good man laying next to you. Hopefully you won't be too afraid or shocked at the difference in your appearance. You're beautiful regardless, so it doesn't matter. If he's a good man, he recognizes that. But anyway, this is what I start off with is my um, my serving facial. I keep it on my face for roughly 20 to 30 minutes, depending on whatever you got to do in the morning. So right now, I'm about to go and make me a fresh pot of coffee, and I'll keep it on my uh, my emails, my inbox, and I'll keep it on. I'll let Zoe, my dog, outside, um, which I've already done that, so. But I'll find something to do within 20 to 30 minutes, and not even 30, 20 minutes. And then I'll come, and with a warm um, rag and water, I'll clear it off. You do have to use a towel. Hey, Shekana! That's my baby! Hey, boo! I cannot wait to see you, Shekana Joe. I love her. So, once I, um, I hope you guys can see me. I love you, too. Hey, Amber! Oh, Amber, Amber Samaya, yes. Serving facial. I should have pinned that on here. How about, guys, give me a second. I want to pin that on here. Let's see. Shekana said, I have been calling you. Babe, you sound just like my mom and my grandmother. I swear I feel like Drake when he says that due to his uh, schedule, he was always neglecting his grams. I'm not trying to neglect you. My Shekana Joe, I love you. Wait, but it's not letting me pin this, guys. Help me out. There we go. I pinned it. So there it is. You guys can go ahead and look it up and tell her that I sent you so she can give me a discount, possibly. Anyway, what's popping? Also today, I'm going to give you guys an update on Body Complete Rx. I know you guys are sick of me, but you don't understand what comes by way of email, text message, DM about people wanting to lose weight. Now, fellas, I know y'all like delicious. We don't like you skinny and we want you to keep that dunk. But I still... Auntie! Auntie! Auntie, do I still got a dunk? Honey, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Is that a real yes or... You know you got a dunk. Thank you. <laughs> you heard that right. That's my auntie. That's my mama's sister. She don't tell no lies. It's a Christian woman right there. So, even with all my weight loss, fellas, no fear. I still got a dunk. All right? So, 
So, ladies, we're going to talk about um, Body Complete Rx and how we're coming to a city new year. Yes, that's right. So, show. Where you at? Where you at? Where you at? Where you at? I'm coming to see you. So I told you guys just recently that I was going to pick one person and work out with them. I was going to fly into their city and do my regimen. And I was going to actually put them in a hotel room with me or if they allowed me in their home with them. I don't know, but wake up with them and actually go through my entire regimen and get them started so they can start to um, adjust their lifestyle so they can start to lose this weight. Because I'm going to reveal a picture to you guys today. And this is just from last year. You can actually still see it if you go in my timeline. Um, I'll give you a clue. I had blonde hair and it was on my Live with London show. And it is still in my, um, my, uh, my post from last year on my page. But if you go and look at the chunky chick I was then, as I got towed off calling myself a fat girl, my followers was like, well, that is fat shaming. I would never do that. I think all women are beautiful. I don't care what size you are, but I do have the right to my own preference. So anyhow, I'm going to show you guys the difference in my weight and how it didn't just come by, yes, I took the pill. Yes, I take the drops. But most importantly, I changed my whole lifestyle. And anybody, everybody on here, I'm sure at some point either wanted to lose or gain weight. And you know that it's not just one day at the gym. It's not just swallowing somebody's tea. It's not just, you know, taking a, a pill. I've heard of different shots and pills and even um, tummy tucks and, and lap bands and things like that. And then those people... You know, they go, they go right back and they gain weight and they gain more weight because they become depressed because of all of the energy that they put into whatever that surgery or product was. Well, guess what? You want to change your lifestyle, hunty, so you can see the results and you feel more healthy and you feel more, uh, more youthful and, you know, you have more energy and you feel more confident. Look at me. I'm on here looking like what the F-U-C-K, but I'm confident. Because I'm comfortable with me and I'm happy with me and I'm losing weight. When your underwear is starting to look baggy. Do y'all see these? That's Lexi. But when your underwear starts to look loose. You start to feel good. Exactly. Me underscore 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 ah. Me ah. I'm assuming that's how you pronounce it. She said those surgeries are starting to become a bit dangerous. They are. Okay. So here's a secret. I'm going to show y'all something when it comes to Bryant, Tracy K. I love you too. When it comes to surgery, I'm about to show y'all something, okay? Don't tell nobody and don't show nobody and don't screenshot. It's not worth it. Okay, I didn't tell nobody what to do because I had my breasts done. And I definitely pulled my tummy tuck, I mean my stretch marks down through form of tummy tuck. But when I got my boobs done, I had to get them redone, not once. Not twice, but I had to do three revision surgeries. And then at one point, they had to take the implants out. And I was very depressed. For six months, I couldn't have my implants again so that the scarring and the revision could repair itself. And then they had to go in another way. Lexington. Mommy's on Instagram. You should have potted in your bathroom. They can hear you. Okay, she's a baby, guys. All right, so anyhow, um, they had to put them back in, but I was really sad when I went with no boobs because I was used to having them. But this was the catch. As much as I cried for my doctor to finally put them back in, this is what I had to be comfortable with dealing with afterwards. You guys ready? Okay, hold your stomachs and hold your breaths. Here we go. Do you see that? Okay. Your baby can wash your hands. Do you see that? Oh. I just showing the line you had. Yeah, I'm showing them my scar. Oh. And these are my friends though, so it's okay. Thank you, baby. Lexington is trying to help you guys to see it. Because she makes me feel better about it. She always tells me I'm beautiful anyway. Right, baby? Oh, okay. That's right. Thank you. So, I 
know, right? So you take a perfectly good body. Now, I'm not against surgery, so don't run tell someone that, you know, Delicia said that you shouldn't go and have surgery and you shouldn't go under the knife. I'm just giving you my experience that at some point 